Hello friends and welcome back to my cottage. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of crafting with some stencils and some paint and we're going to be creating some serving trays and wooden cutting boards for our kitchen with a French country design. So as always, pour yourself a cup of coffee or a cup of tea and let's get to creating. So we're starting out, I have my paints, I have my sponge brushes, and these stencils I purchased from Amazon and they are just French stencils and there are several designs that come in the package. We're gonna start with our serving tray first. This serving tray is an old photo frame that has been painted and distressed. Uh, wooden black handles have been glued to each side. And now I'm just painting the backing of this tray in a stable gray color of paint from Menards. After two coats of paint on the tray, I'm using a Rust-Oleum decorative glaze in the color Java Brown. So I'm just sponging this on with a sponge brush and I'm going to coat all of the paint completely. So I love this glaze. I use it every time I antique furniture or I'm distressing furniture. I use it in just about every piece of furniture or craft project that I'm redesigning. Instead of sanding it down, I use this glaze. I rub it all on with my sponge brush and then you're going to take a paper towel or a washcloth and you're going to wipe it all off completely. Now if you want the darker look of the glaze, you won't wipe off as much. But I like to just have the glaze settle into the paint a little bit to give it that antique look. So I almost wipe every bit of it off, just leaving a little bit of residue behind. And now we have a cute antique look. Next I'm taking black and brown craft paint and I'm mixing those together. You don't want to mix them up completely, but instead of black lettering, I wanted to give my lettering a bronze effect. And you can get that effect by adding a little bit of brown paint to your black paint. And so now I have just taped my stencil down to my serving tray. Um, of course, let your paint and your glaze dry really well first. Uh, usually about five to six hours is what I wait um, before putting anything on top of the glaze. And then this is my finished product after stenciling. Next, I'm going to make a floral arrangement. I bought this um, stone pot from Facebook Marketplace and I bought these peonies from Amazon and I'm just putting them down into the foam ball in my pot. And in under five minutes, I had an adorable flower arrangement. So I put the arrangement on my serving tray with a candle and I have a beautiful French country centerpiece. Next, I'm going to be using some of those same stencils and I'm taking this wooden cutting board that I purchased from Hobby Lobby and I'm stenciling on um, some cafe lettering uh, since this will be going in my kitchen. And then of course, I love doing my kitchen in the French honeybees. So those are gonna go on either side of the lettering. And I'm just using a white paint again with my sponge. And you wanna go sparingly with your paint. If not, it will run under the stenciling and it will all run together and be a mess. So go sparingly and take your time and you'll have a beautiful finished product. I also stenciled my chalkboard behind my coffee bar, um, and this was in my last video, but the same technique, 
and I did this with white paint. And then I put my wooden cutting board behind my stove in my kitchen and it just brought in that French country feel with those French honeybees that I love so much uh, and just really made behind my new stove pop. So with a little bit of paint and some stencils, you can bring in that French country look yourself. Thank you friends for watching with me today and I hope you try some of these crafts in your own home.